Hello, my name is Wandra Champinba. I'm in Melbourne in Carlton. I could sing the Carlton song, but there's no, not enough time. But today I'm trying to explain the using the two drinks here uh, about Ngodokulu. I'm mixing honey to the tea. I've just finished the orange juice. Now, why didn't I mi mix the orange juice with the tea? It's because I want them to be separate. In that way, Ngodokulu is like that. Yeah, always be a keep separate. Try not to mix the orange with the tea. Too much integration will just rob you of your identity. I come from a Walpuri language group, and we got two skin groups, but uh, cut in two. They they divided. Moities, I think the anthropologists call them. My sons and my father, they are the sky moiti. Even my wife, mine. So I heard Moiti, and so I had to marry a cross. That is the drinking. The earth and the sky, they're the two containers. Murakulu is a way to uh, your identity have to shine out. You as an individual, so that's your Murakulu. That's your character. It's a way people see you, reminds them of you always, yeah, and you, you give yourself to them, they give back to you in a way, trying to honor you and respect you. You might be orange juice, you might be a cup of tea, it doesn't matter. Try not to mix them because we like it separate and we'll always continue to feed off each other by drinking the two tea, either being a sky or either being the earth. Muragolo. Just coming to Melbourne, yeah? I had a trouble identifying my bag. I, n I must put my Muragolo in that. Yeah. So next time, it doesn't pass me on the conveyor three or four times, because they look the same, all the bags look the same. Yeah, I can just spot my Muragolo with the sun. That's Muragolo too. Identity. Muragolo. That's my place, amongst all others. Yeah, the Ngurogulu, yeah, you carry it, but it also carry you. <laughs>